Hello everybody, welcome back for another art activity today. We're gonna be making Band-Aid art. Usually we use a Band-Aid when we get an owie or we get hurt and we need to cover it up and protect our owie from getting germs or dirt in it. So we use Band-Aids for our body, but today we're gonna get a little bit creative and we're gonna use our Band-Aids to make a picture on our paper. What I need you to grab for this activity is you have an envelope that's filled with different kinds of band-aids. So grab all of those band-aids and a piece of paper. You should have a blue piece of paper that looks like this, but if you have another piece of paper you wanna use, you can go ahead and grab that too. You're also going to need a marker to draw a little bit on our papers and any other crayons or materials you might wanna to add to your art afterwards. So grab everything that you need, bring it back over to the table, and we're gonna make some Band-Aid art today. All right, boys and girls, you can start by opening up some of your Band-Aids. You're going to have two Band-Aids that are tan like this, and then the other ones are all colorful. We're gonna start by taking apart our tan Band-Aids and taking off the back. And we're gonna use these just like we would use a sticker. So once we have these opened up, I want you to put these at the bottom of your paper. Just like that. And then if you have your marker, we're actually going to draw a face on these. These are going to be like little Band-Aid people. And you can give them some arms. If you wanna give them legs, you can give your Band-Aid some legs. Okay, so you should have two little Band-Aid people and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our colored Band-Aids. We have four Band-Aids that are different colors. And as you undo these, we're going to make a shape at the top of our paper. And then I'm gonna attach them kind of like at the corners so that they're a little bit overlapping. So I'm gonna have one going this way and then one coming down. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my other two on the other side. Hey, does anybody know what shape I made with my band-aids? I made a rhombus. If you said diamond, you're also right. Rhombus is another name for our diamond. And for our art picture, it's actually going to be a kite. So at the bottom of your rhombus, you can draw a squiggly line down to the hand of one of your band-aid people because they're holding on to their kite. If you want to give your kite a tail, because sometimes kites have tails that hang off of them, you can give them a little tail hanging off of there too. That is completely up to you. Now if you have more band-aids that you want to use on your picture, you can make another kite or maybe you can get creative and make a flower or something different if you have more band-aids to use. If you have other markers and crayons, you can also draw some extra things on your picture, like some grass. Or you can add the sun at the top. If you have construction paper, you can cut out a sun and glue it on there. So get creative with your drawing after you finish putting all of your Band-Aids on there. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for joining me for today's art activity, and we'll see you next time. Bye!